Hello, my name's Dean. Welcome back to another episode of Zomdeen Survival from Game Over Man Podcast. Um, it's a cold Sunday evening um, here in England. There's nothing much to do, so I thought I'd um, play a game that I've been playing on Xbox 360 for what, since it's been released, and that's called State of Decay. But instead, I've decided to download it from the Steam community and see what the PC version offers, because I've heard there's a few little tweaks and differences from what you can get from a console game to a PC platform, which I can imagine any games designer would change a few things. But um, yeah, I introduce to you State of Decay. Up to its release on June 5th on Xbox Live Arcade, State of Decay captured my interest instantly as Undead Labs announced an exclusive title to Xbox Arcade was being created that emphasised players putting their own survival plans to the test during a zombie apocalypse. Now I already had my hopes of an open world MMO RPG zombie game pissed shit and vomited on by Hammerpoint Interactive with their game The War Z, now known as Infestation Survivor Stories, so with a new MMO open world RPG zombie game coming around the corner for Xbox 360, I really didn't know what to expect. After arriving at a dock from a camping trip with your mate Ed, you're quite literally dropped into a sense of urgency right away. Giving you an instant taste and feel of the zombie attacks you're going to encounter throughout the game. And as well as the stealth-like approach you're going to have to take when foraging for items, as zombie pop culture has taught us so much, they're hypersensitive to hearing, and State of Decay captures this so, so well. Over here. The melee combat aspect of the game may seem rather frenzy-like and sometimes a complete clusterfuck of swinging arms, pushing and biting, but it doesn't ever grow tiresome, especially the finishing moves. Now everything Apocalypse Base considered, the downfall of society, a complete desolation, corpse-ridden towns, villages, cities, there still has to be a beginning and an end. I assume it's an easy consideration for any games designer to pick detailed but dull looking sceneries to express a sense of fear, the feeling of being isolated and desperation within the game. Undead Labs on the other hand have created a game so beautifully captivating with its incredible scenery and explosions of colour everywhere you look, while at the same time successfully nailing an apocalyptic feeling as the game progresses. I love attention to detail, even if it's as simple as being able to barricade a window during a zombie apocalypse. Pay attention to the shadows on the floor. Now I know time-lapse lighting effects isn't nothing new in the gaming world, but the fact they've actually managed to create a fully working sun that can easily go unnoticed is quite intriguing. Your journal consists of your inventory, your particular character's progress, your material stockpile, if you've found refuge already, your current base layout and what modifications you can make to your base, and typically all your missions and game dialogue in a small diary format. In this particular clip I've decided to build a workshop in a church with a group of survivors I've found refuge with. As you can see it's as simple as cross-referencing to make sure whether you have enough materials to build your workshop. If not, head out, scout the area, find somewhere with some resources and go and take them. There we go. There's a building we'll want to check out. Yeah, I was afraid of that. We got a horde on our hands. Now I could go on all day and all night about State of Decay. But for £14.99 on Steam, it's an absolute steal. Not a single penny wasted, and I hope from the small glimpse that you've had through my video it intrigue you enough to go out and buy it. But one thing I will say about State of Decay is the campaign just seemed that little bit too short to me. Thanks for tuning in again guys to another episode of Zomdean Survival. You can catch us on Twitter at GameOverPod and myself personally at DinoSalter. Like and subscribe. Until next time.